Tonight, Kenya's justice system is on the brink of sliding into rock and ruin. The judiciary has announced a major crisis fast building within the arm of government. This follows the drastic budgetary allocation in this year's financial budget. As uh, Maraga is now warning that the judiciary's operation, including constructions and clearance of backlog cases, will suffer a setback. Could this be another supremacy war between the arms of government? Here is our uh, Francis Ontomo. Tuesday afternoon and the man in charge of the country's judiciary was making measured steps out of his office. And with him, a report cut to the nation. We have called you here today to express our concerns regarding the drastic cuts in the judiciary budget, which have a devastating effect on our work. Since the reading of the budget, this is the first time that Chief Justice David Maraga is letting out his frustrations over the drastic cut in the judiciary budget. The Judicial Service Commission, which has a wide mandate, mandate will, be, will be seriously affected. From 891 million shillings we requested, we only have 361, I mean 64. So the, the JSC, I mean, is, is likely to be terribly affected and the, the, quite a number of the functions of the judiciary will not be able to be carried on. The downward revision of judiciary funding capped at 17.3 billion in the national budgetary policy statement to 14.5 billion has left judiciary with only 50 million in development budget. We have made um, attempts to, to reach the authorities concerned. But that, those have not been successful. Maraga says this will deal a major blow on efforts to clear a backlog of cases. Also, the Chief Justice says 41 government-funded projects will stall, with another 29 funded by the World Bank facing similar fate. Please let the public bear with us and know the circumstances under which we are operating. The humiliation of the judiciary has not stopped observers from casting their minds back to events that followed the nullification of the re-election of President Huru Kenyatta, a publicly delivered statement, a visibly angry head of state. <laughs> I, I don't want to speculate and give any reason because I don't know why, because it, for, for us it is surprising. More than ever, it's now official that the executive and the judiciary are trading on a coalition path that is now spilling over into public service. And with the other arms of the government now mum on this subject, far-reaching implications are likely to follow this new development. Francis Ontomoa, KTN News, Nairobi. Kenya's parody.